Daddy, that's so nummy. That's so nummy. <laughs> so good, huh? All right, good morning. We are having a happy Valentine's breakfast. We're having German pancakes, grapes, strawberries, and? Strawberry milk. Strawberry milk. It's from a local dairy. It is like extra amazing, strawberry milk. And it comes in a glass jar, which is cool. For some reason, yeah. it just makes it cooler. And it's so good, and it is milk, but it tastes good from cows. <laughs> cows make it. If you feed the cows enough strawberries, then strawberry milk comes up, right? Yeah. Yeah. What happens if you feed the cows chocolate? It turns into chocolate milk. What if you feed the cows pizza? It will turn into pizza milk. Awesome educational <laughs> moment going on right now. So Caleb, what they actually do is cows make regular milk and then the people add yumminess to make it taste like strawberries. I like banana and cotton candy. My favorite kind is their root beer milk. I forgot about that. I love it. Root beer, root beer. Here's the smallest sippity sip in the world. Okay, I want to do a quick poll. Polling is a new thing on YouTube, so you can click the i card and do the poll. Which member of our family will spill their milk first? That's so good. We're letting the viewers guess on a poll who's going to spill their milk first. All right, we have our first spill, and you are a winner in the poll if you picked... Kedra. <laughs> it's not fair because I do a lot more pouring than anybody well, else. Well, they should have taken that into account when they were voting. Oh my goodness. So the bottom came off. I was pouring Elise's and it just kind of wobbled and... Here we go, show them the wreckage. It's a spill. But that's pretty minimal. At least you didn't get it on the food. At least I know how to clean it up. Yeah. Baby, try. Are you going to try? So Laura's trying to dress herself today. Um, the problem is she has a shirt that she's trying to wear as pants. That looks like a skirt. It does yeah. look like a skirt. Yes. Yeah. I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. Good job, big girl. Looks like she has a tail. <laughs> She's like, what do I do with these? That's the baskets. <gasps> Were you being a scary monster? <laughs> ah! Is that scary? All right, so kind of like Easter for Valentine's Day, we set up hearts, and the kids are gonna do a heart hunt. Some of them are in harder places than others. Here we go. Laura, pick up the hearts. I found one. Did you find a heart? Good job. Daddy, can you? Daddy, can you give me that? All right, we are trying something new today with our family. We are having cheese fondue for dinner. I have always wanted to do this, but like with the young kids, I've been nervous to try it, so I'm actually still a little bit nervous. We'll see how this goes. Growing up, I knew of a family that had this as a tradition, and I always thought that sounded cool. So I wanted to do it with my family someday, and we're here. We've arrived at someday. Who's excited? Me. Me. Okay, so they're not overly eager, but they're gonna, they're gonna grow into it. Me. You're excited? Me! I'm kind of excited! Me. I'm excited! You're excited! This is a very cheesy meal! It is. That's because... No, it's, it's a very messy meal! So what are your favorite things to fondue? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the things I'm enjoying the most are the mushrooms and the meat and the broccoli. Mm -hmm. I love the broccoli. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. If we're gonna go with favorite fondue items, it's everything with chocolate fondue. But if we're talking <laughs> about dinner, I do really like the potatoes, the broccoli, the mushrooms. It's all really good. This is a very good Well, apparently I made enough fondue for an army. Does anybody wanna come have some fondue with us? Yeah, I think all the kids are done. And Jeremy and I are getting full too. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're gonna be doing fondue with four little kids again 
next year. I think it's going to be a couple of years before we try that again. It went well. There were lots of things I liked about it. Like, I'm glad we tried it, but it was just a lot of work and the kids couldn't really quite do it. But I think they'll be much more successful with dessert. We are making Love Potion, which is just kind of like root beer floats, but you use raspberry sherbet and Sprite. Yummy. So, should be good. I'm excited. Okay. But when I make it, it makes you all fall in love with me. Always get nervous those are gonna fizz over. Can I be mine? Why don't you give it to your secret Valentine? Okay. Oh! oh! What do you say, Caleb? Thank you. Did you know Isaac was your secret Valentine? Yeah, I was like. I think that's my secret Valentine. Yeah, not. <laughs> so earlier this week we chose names and we're secret Valentines for each other in the family. So it was somebody special to like find ways to serve and love through the week. And so now we're giving these to our secret Valentines so that they know who we were. Why don't you give that to your secret Valentine? <gasps> she's, she's pretty intrigued by this. Thank you. Get my secret Valentine. Too. Nice after the dud tastes like love. Whoa. So we're going around picking each person in the family and saying what we love about them. And it is pretty adorable to hear what each of the kids are saying about each other. It's it's really sweet. These are tender parenting moments. <laughs> and it, is, it, is it didn't even get on Who you. Who wants a bath tonight? Yay. Me. Laura, what do you love about Elise? <laughs> you love that Elise helps you learn about Jesus? So Laura's answer to every question has been Jesus. It's <laughs> literally funny. <laughs> We're gonna go down on that thing. Daddy, that's so mommy. That's so mommy. <laughs> so good, huh? Well, friends, I had to clean up the floor, but I couldn't bring myself to clean up the walls. Anyway, as I was cleaning up last night, I was able to read so many of the notes and they just were really touching and humbling and just thank you all so much for your sweet words and for sharing encouragement with me and for sharing the beauty that you see. I, I think sometimes it's so hard to see the, the wonderful things about ourselves even though they're there. And so thank you for that. I really appreciated it. I know something's going on when she's hiding in the corner. <laughs> it's I like fun size Twix bar. Mm -hmm. I already had one of those today. Did you? In that same spot. I was just getting some motivation to clean out the kitchen. Yeah, let's just not do it. Good night. Say shout out. Good night. Say shout out. I thought it would be really fun to help Kendra see how much she's loved. To share these with her in a creative way.